Yo, too, man. Welcome back to the channel. I got another banger video for y'all today. If you're a new person watching this video, man, hit that subscribe button because we on the way to 10,000 subscribers. We gonna get that before December. And like I said, I don't play by my goals, but we gonna get into this video, man. This video is gonna be talking about three things that women secretly do to manipulate and control you. Now, we gonna get into it. The first thing they do is tell you not to go to the gym. Now, this is really why I, I recommend y'all or I suggest y'all finding people that fit your lifestyle and fit the life that you wanna have. They're gonna feel bad about themselves. You know, they, they're not the level that you are on or they their lifestyle doesn't match the things that you do. So they're gonna try to bring you back down to that level to make them feel good about themselves. They're gonna make fun of you. They're gonna make fun of you and, and make fun of the things that you do. Maybe you meal plan or you meal prep. They're gonna make fun of it. But not to get too off topic, why do women do this? They do this because, like I said, I, I, I really gave it away. They do this because it doesn't match their lifestyle. So they kind of feel bad about you going to the gym, you working out, and you having a better body than them. And they can get the same body if they go to the gym. But sometimes they don't want to have that lifestyle. So they tell you to stay home. You know, you don't have to go to the gym. And what happens when you do that? What happens when you don't go to the gym and you know, you spend more time with her and now you're, you're gonna get fat. You're gonna get fat and that's gonna cause you to be more lazy, less ambitious, and you're not going to get things done. And if you know, by now all of y'all should know that women are a hypergamous. So she's gonna tell you to do that. She's gonna tell you to stay home. You don't have to go to the gym. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. Then she's gonna go find another dude who's doing those things. Another dude who's, you know, putting the hard work in, who's ambitious in life. Because I'm telling you, when you stop going to the gym, it's automatically going to make you less motivated, less ambitious. The, the gym helps in a lot of ways that y'all don't even know. But that's another topic we can get into. So that's the first reason you want to watch out for that. Because the, the summary of that reason is they're not living that lifestyle. So it's going to make them feel bad. So they are going to keep you at the same level they are. So number two, this is a big one, a very important one. They are going to call you insecure. Now, why do women do this? Translation, they want to do whatever the fuck they want to do. And it's crazy because y'all believe these things when they call you insecure. Now, I'm not saying all situations are the same. Some situations you might actually be, be insecure. But if it's a situation where you're telling her you don't want her posting half naked pictures on Instagram and she calls you insecure, but you need to go ahead and leave that relationship because when a woman calls you insecure, she's shaming you and she wants you to feel guilty for that. What does that lead to? That leads to you saying, oh, you're right. You know, I, I was thinking too much. I was overthinking. And now she can do whatever she wants to do. In reality, you're not okay with it. You're just saying that to keep the peace. At the end of the day, I want to say this. I pick and choose. Sometimes, you know, people will hide who they really are. So you can't really tell. But I want y'all to do this. Really pick and choose before you get in a relationship with a woman. See what type of woman she is. If she likes to go to parties and you don't like that, why in the world would you mess with this woman? If you see, you know, she's posting half-naked pictures on her story, you might be on her close friends or something. Why on earth would you cuff that? If you wouldn't want your girlfriend doing that and she's doing these things that you wouldn't want a girlfriend doing, your girlfriend, then why would you cuff her? That's a very important thing that you need to realize. But it's simple. This point is very simple. If she calls you insecure, translation, she wants to do whatever she wants to do. And I don't really see how y'all y'all let y'all girlfriends do these single activities. At the end of the day, you need to stand it don't matter what anybody else says. If you're okay with it, you're okay with it. But at the end of the day, if you're in a relationship, you need to stand on your rules and your boundaries. If you do not stand on that, she won't respect you and you don't have respect on yourself. So you must stand on it. Whatever you feel like you're okay with, you need to stand on those things. It don't matter what she says. If she's calling you insecure, okay, leave. 
You know, why, why are you with an insecure man? Okay, leave. You you leave that situation. So the third thing is this, and, and it might ring a lot of bells. It might you know knock a, a lot of people off balance. But I'm gonna say because not enough people say it, and a lot of y'all want to live in this fantasy world. Taking care of you. I'm gonna say it because at the end of the day, man, I, I want y'all to look at it like this, and I'm gonna elaborate what I mean by taking care of you. I mean you know she she's you know. Buying you things, she, she's taking care of you, you don't have to pay rent, you know, she lets you drive her car, Every everything that you want, she buys. She's taking care of you. Now, I'm going a, I'm to a say this example so y'all understand this, because my mom, and I don't know if anybody else has been in the same situation, but let me know in the comments if your mom ever did anything like this. My mom would constantly buy me things, you know, whether it was a phone, a, a, a game system, even shoes. She took shoes away from me one time, but she would buy me all of these things. And whenever she got mad, whenever she got pissed off, the first thing on her mind was everything that she bought me. Now, on the flip side of that, my stepdad, he even bought me countless things. I can go on and name all of them if I need to. And he's never once taken any of those things away. He, I'm not, don't get it wrong, he still disciplined me. If I did something wrong, he still disciplined me, but he didn't take things away. The first thing a woman is going to do is take all of those things away. And if that doesn't sound like manipulating or if that doesn't sound like a woman controlling you, you are a fool. And man, uh, a lot of my subscribers already know this, but I'm gonna say, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to move out and I wanted to be on my own because I already know how things work and I already know how people operate. No, somebody is taking care of you and providing you with everything that you need. You need it. You cannot go without it in this world. Then they have control over you. Man or male or female, they have control over you. And I knew that and I didn't want to put myself in that situation. So I figured out what I need to do to be on my own. And that is facts. It's worse with women, but uh, it's a very small percentage of men who do that 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 female ass shit. But mostly women do it, and it's just in their their nature, in their DNA, because they are emotional. They're emotional creatures. A man, on the other hand, is not gonna do that because y'all can be in a little small petty argument. Y'all y'all just arguing about something silly. A man is not gonna take away everything he has. I mean, you have. That he's giving you, say, you know, he's taking care of you. We talking about a rich man and you don't have to do nothing. You don't have to go to work. You don't have to pay no bills. He's not going to cut all of those things off over one little argument. He's not. Say he bought her a car. He's not going to take that car away. On the other hand, a female, bro, she's going to do all of those things. Oh, well, you said this in the argument. Okay, give me my car back. Oh, you can't spend. In, you can't. Uh, you you spend the night somewhere else. All of those things. She's gonna take those things away. Now, there is some. I don't want y'all to get this confused. I don't want y'all to twist up my words. There is some women out here who are gonna take care of you and build you up to be that man that you need to be. There is some women out here like that. But nine times out of ten, man, most women do it to manipulate you and control you because let's be real they can't do that to a dude who has all of the, all of his ducks in order all of his you know shit in order they can't do that because what are you going to take away from a man like that what what this is why I preach and I if you go down on my videos I've been preaching this a long time you need to get everything on your own your own car your own crib your own money because if you don't have all those things on your own People are going to control you. And it can get way deeper than that. Yeah, your boss controls you. Your manager controls you. But we're not going to get too deep into that. We're talking about females. And I'm going to give y'all a bonus tip because I know I always give y'all a bonus tip at the end. She cries after she done did some dirt, after she done did some mess. Now, this is an obvious one, but I'm still going to put it in here. Don't fall for it. She wants you to feel bad, you know, take her back, you know, show some sort of uh, sympathy towards her. And it's just, it's just manipulation. She wants you to take her back after she done did some mess. So that was the bonus tip, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. 
And leave a thumbs up for the algorithm. We out.